everyone this is Inaya also known as the Afro Queen artist and I am sharing with you my most recent project the African chakra series and right now we are we have done the root chakra and we have moved up to the sacral chakra this so in the root chakra excuse me in the root chakra we remember uh, setting that foundation and grounding ourselves so now, once we confirm, like, okay, this is what we're doing, this is where we're about to go. Now, it's, this, is, this is one of the hardest parts. And I have to say, this was the one of the most uh, emotionally turbulent uh, chapter of this whole series of paintings. Um, when it came down to painting this chakra here, uh, this is the one that is the most dear to me. I love them all, but this one right here okay look let me tell you all right so after you've already made your confirmation you know what it is that you want to do it's time to release everything anything that no longer is in alignment with that affirmation everything okay even the things that you didn't even think that you had to let go of it got to go, okay? When I tell you there were so many tears, you know, like it was, it's, it's, it's literally felt like coming up against all of my deepest insecurities. Like I'm talking about insecurities I had in high school. I'm talking, you know, self-esteem things, um, self-worth things, uh, my interaction with people up until this point where the shifts took place, you know? Um, which relationships were healthy, which ones were unhealthy. If they were unhealthy, why Why did I engage, you know? But did I heal everything from those relationships? Am I currently in any relationships that are reminiscent of those, that are going to tear down my spirit as opposed to build them up? It was a very, very real as chapter, okay? So, um, as I mentioned before, this series was inspired by a book called Opening to Spirit by Carolyn Shola Arewa where she breaks down all of the different nitty-gritty details of each chakra. So some fun facts about the sacral chakra. The color is orange, okay, um, and its element, like you know the, the elements of nature, fire, water, earth, air, ether. This particular corresponding element is water. And it makes sense, you know, where do we go to heal ourselves? You know, we might put ourselves in a bath and just find that relaxing moment there. When we cry, waters come down our face. So water is associated with healing. When we're sick, okay, what do they say? Drink more fluids, <laughs> drink more water. So water is where it's at when it comes down to healing. Um, so what you'll see in this painting is I incorporate, like that's, really what I based a lot of it out of. In the background, you have the rivers flowing. Um, this right here are like two hands holding up a bowl. It's like a offering. It's a ancestral offering to healing. And um, down here, it kind of, for me, this was, this is all kind of abstract and kind of came to me like as I drew it. But it, it reminds me of like those tears welling up in the bottom of your core and then like having to go through all of these different complications before you know you finally open up up to be released and not only are these tears coming from something that may happen immediately but it may be a part of like it may have been passed down genetically there may be some traumas or some blockages you're experiencing because genetically they've been passed down and that trauma hasn't yet been healed um, I know especially as black people, we have traumas that have not been healed, you know, considering our history. And there are a lot of cultures out there who have had traumatic histories, who have traumatic present day things going on. And that stuff affects us mentally, whether we're aware of it or not. And it, it results in very destructive behaviors. So this chakra is all about finding healing, taking the courage to come up against those experiences and 
processing it and the biggest thing is just forgiving yourself forgiving yourself forgiving whoever it was that caused you harm just so you can move forward not to say that you have to forget like you know act like nothing happened because that's not healing what's happening is you're evaluating the situation and you work it to the point you go down to the root like why did it happen was there anything that i could have done to prevent it if there was a whole bunch of stuff you could have done if there was like a small thing if there was nothing you could have done you know all of these are reasons to let it go because what's happening is you can't move forward until you release we are made of energy each one of these chakras are energy so every time something happens to us and we don't release how that makes us feel you know and it doesn't it, it can look like crying that's what it's most likely going to look like when you get down to the bottom of it but it can come off as anger it can come off as just high athletic activity but whatever it is whatever it is it has to be released otherwise you get just stuck up it's like a paper jam in a printer okay the, no matter how many times you press print no matter how many times you try to produce something if there's a paper stuck in that little uh roller thing you're not getting no documents you're not getting nothing like no you have to take the paper and unjam it before you can expect anything of value anything that you can use to be created from 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 this printer from you okay so um that was the sacral chakra um and this is actually the point in time where i came up with my new name um and and i could say it's a new name but maybe it's an it's an old name that i just remembered but i decided to give myself a name that was going to further affirm my purpose and to serve as a daily reminder of why it is that i'm here and that name was Inaya. It literally came to me as I was painting this moon here. Like I stopped my painting and said, I need a new name. I need a new name. And I went, I did a little search, and I picked out a few that really resonated with my spirit. And then there was one in particular, and it was Inaya. And when I came across it, I clicked it, I said, what does that mean? It has Swahili origins, and it symbolizes providence and compassion and that's literally like everything that my journey is about right now so for me to carry that name and to use it on a daily basis it just reminds me like yo you made a, a promise to yourself to your family to your community that you were getting ready to do some work so no you can't you can't sit on the sidelines and use any more excuses like again reminding myself it's bigger than me it's time for a rebirth and that's what happened that's also something that takes place through the waters you have the healing and then you have the rebirth you have the shedding and then you have the reconstruction okay the deconstruction and the reconstruction so that is my sacral chakra so next we are going to move it on up to the solar plexus chakra so stay tuned